Merry Wives is a story about a dude who thinks that he's gonna get his way with two women and they get the better of him. That's the basic premise. I'm always looking for a new and a fresh and exciting way to bring out what Shakespeare's doing, and in this, it's humor. And when I was reading the play, I started to hear it in a West African dialect. What's with my bed, will ya? Oh, now. Oh, Sister Ford, what have you done? It just elevated the humor for me in a way that is true to me because I'm African as well, but also because I'd never heard the text with this particular framework. I think setting it in Harlem in an African and Black American community just feels right, actually. It feels like fun and fresh and an innovative take. I'm first generation Ghanaian American. I grew up in New York City. I've never ever seen a Shakespeare adaptation with these particular people um, at the center. Typically, I can take the text as it exists and set it in a particular world. But for this, I wanted a playwright because a lot of the humor needed to be adapted to be more contemporary, but also because the characters were from a particular community, I wanted an authenticity that Jocelyn could bring. So that's why this is not just a concept, it's an adaptation. One of the things I've missed the most is hearing the sound of people's laughter. Everything during the last 18 months has been so solitary. I just want to hear the sound of all of those hundreds of people erupting in laughter at something funny in the play. That's the thing that I'm excited about. We're going to feel like we're human again, because to me, to be human is to be in communion with people. And so I'm really excited about that. I think this production is so important because of the year that we've had. We've spent a lot of time inside. We've also lost a lot of people. There's been a racial reckoning that we've been going through. And I think this particular version of Merry Wives is a celebration and a recognizing of all of those things. We're recognizing the people that we've lost. We're celebrating black bodies on stage. We're acknowledging joy and happiness and coming out of a storm. That kind of bravery just feels like the right way to set things off. This is the future, you know, and it's a fast moving train. So you either gonna get on that train or I don't know, you gotta get left. It's an express train, you know?